tea. It's by Susan Richter Knox, and it's uh, oil and mineral salts. To start off the analysis, we can look at the contour lines that edge out and imply the figure of the ladies as well as their clothing. Also, if you take a look at the teapot and the plate, it was created using contour lines as well because we don't have actual lines, we just have the implied ones. And most of these lines were used by the soft lines because they're not too defined and they're not too hard. You can also look at the outlines that Susan used by looking at their shoulders and the neck of the one wearing green and yellow. Also, if you take a look at the background, the umbrella was outlined using the actual line. We also have an implied line down the middle of the painting if you look between the ladies um, holding their back together. If you look at the position that the way these ladies are sitting, it's in a vertical way, which implies that their movement is still. For the types of shapes we have, we mostly have the organic shapes because the people are technically considered organic because they're not, they don't have any sharp edges or lines. Also, the teapot, the plate, and the umbrella in the background could be considered organic as well because they are not geometrical, which means they don't have the sharp edges or lines either. In this painting, we have highlight values and dark values. The artist Susan used a chiaroscuro technique to give the illusion of mass and volume. For her paint palette, for her palette, she used the primary colors such as red, yellow, and blue, but added tint to them to make it a little more of a lighter color. You could see these colors in the umbrella, the foreground, and the clothing that the lady on the left is wearing. She also used the secondary colors violet and orange and added tint to them as well to make them a lighter color. For the teapot, she used blue and toned it by adding gray to it to create the color of the teapot. For the color of the skin, she used brown, which is a neutral color, and added tint to it to make it a lighter color. Because the colors of this painting is so bright, it catches our view according to Newton's theory that light and warm colors will catch an uh, audience's view. For, for texture, the actual texture of this painting is rough and rigid because the artist used an impossible technique, which means adding extra layers of the oil. However, the visual texture seems soft, smooth, and shiny because of the highlight. The focal point of this painting, I would believe, would be the heads of the ladies because the artist used very much detail into the eyes, the mouth, and the nose. Also because of the implied lines that the umbrella gives to the heads of the ladies. For space, it has an atmospheric perspective because the ladies have the detail and the background is very blurry. This painting has unity, creates harmony, and has symmetrical balance because of the shapes are the same, but not the colors. Finally, it is scaled in proportion because the size of the ladies to the environment is at a normal relation to the teapot and the umbrella. The ladies' bodies are also proportional to themselves because no body part is bigger or smaller than the other. The reason I chose this afternoon tea painting by Susan Ricker Knox is because of the vibrant colors and the impossible technique that she I hope you guys get a chance to